I spit high. That's why. Cool. Yeah, amazing. My name is Roy Appiah. I'm a senior associate in the litigation team. I've been at Clifford Chance now for about six years. Wait, let me, let me just... <laughs> yeah, six, 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 six years. You have so many amazing experiences and the opportunity to do a lot of different things. I got to interview Akala, for example, which is not something I would expect to have done <laughs> as part of my day-to-day -day work. My parents are two of my most inspiring people that I know. Um, both of them worked two jobs their whole lives. They were both very bright, but they came from um, Ghana and didn't really get to do jobs that befitted their qualifications. But emphasis in the household was about, look, education is really important. Um, it's your key to open up possibilities for you. There was always a point in every summer holiday where my mum was like, you need to go to the library, man. <laughs> you need to go to the library. You can't just be out here playing football and whatever have you. I took that, I guess, seriously. Um, so I worked hard and I was really, I guess, driven to always want to do the best that I could. And um, sometimes that was like teachers didn't appreciate that I wanted to do better. They thought that was okay for you. And I was like, no, I always want to get to do a bit more. The things that I'm proud of is like kind of providing security for some of my family. My dad doesn't have to work, for example. That's that's a huge thing. Being a lawyer itself um, wasn't so much a, a, f a thing that I always focused on. One of the organizations I linked up was with Rare. Um, I was on their articles program, which at the time was the first one, um, which involved one-on-one -on -one sessions with um, Elham, who would talk to us in an interview-style scenario. That being said, they were more terrifying than any interview I had, um, where she would just rip you to shreds, in a good way. <laughs> um, but, but it kind of reminded you that um, there were levels. When I was on the LPC, you are in your intakes and like a lot of other firms you could almost just by looking at people see what intake they were or what law firm they were at whereas I think with our intake it very much looked like we were a group of people that just jumped off a tour bus or something <laughs> um, and were just quite different um, so we had quite a lot of diversity and ethnicity and personality and sexuality and cross-gender, etc., and, um, and background. You want to work at a place that you have the same opportunity to succeed as anyone else. And a quality of opportunity doesn't mean you're all gonna have the same experience. Different people are seeing more different versions of what it can be to be a lawyer. In fairness to the firm, they've been interested in ethnic diversity for a while. And it long predates Black Lives Matter, and, and this is not me being the company man. Um, this is just because in my experience, I know that that is the case. I was coming up to the end of my training contract and there was an, an incident for me um, that I was concerned by. And that whole episode, in fairness, the team were really good about addressing some of my concerns about it and we kind of resolved it. But the thing that I was particularly concerned about at the time was that one I didn't want it to happen to anybody else and the second thing was that I thought it would have been really good to have someone I, who could empathize so I could actually just be fully honest about how I felt about what was going on and get some guidance on what would be the best way to deal with that I guess that was the first kind of parts of it would be great if there was a group of people we could talk about things with spoke to Laura um, and we started working on the proposal to for a network and what would do and um, who would be for etc. Chinwe Dembe Chapa, who's now a partner in the firm, came back from maternity leave at the time and she was thinking separately about doing a similar thing and then we were brought together and then the network really started to take off from there. The most significant thing for me is our reverse mentoring program. Um, where we have, I guess, a senior partner being re reverse mentored by a more junior ethnic minority colleague. It had kind of triggered a series of people to go through a journey that I think a lot of people have been introduced to following George Floyd's killing and the Black Lives Matter discussions, noticing that there's a difference between colour blindness and colour braidness or being not racist and being actively anti-racist, which was impactful. It's led to quite a few really progressive discussions and create an environment in the firm where we've been able to do some of the initiatives that have since taken place. As important as that, I think, well, if not more so, it's just that. At work, there's such, I guess, there's almost like a taboo in discussing ethnicity and race that for some of the ethnic minority colleagues, that's a huge part of your identity. 
for the reverse mentors, so to speak. Being able to talk about things that are associated with that, um, seeing people be seen for the first time and um, feel empowered. I think that's been one of the things I'm most proud of to, that we've achieved as a network, certainly. Whilst we haven't, and I think it's generally industry-wide, we haven't got as many people as we would have liked progressed to senior levels. The firm is now proactively looking at that, like our targets, the race fairness commitment, like kind of initiated with the gender pay gap um, legislation. That means it's not just a good firm for you to be part of at the start of your career. It's certainly a place that is really focused on ensuring that you have every opportunity to be um, the lawyer you want to be. It means that's a great firm for you to join right now and a place where you can have the career that you want to have. Um, so yeah, definitely a place that I'd recommend to anyone.